In this video, we'll create a routine using Daily Routine version 2 for iPhone. To create a new routine, go to the Routine list, then tap the plus button. I'm going to call this routine Dev Day. Normally, I'd change the icon and color, but that can be done anytime. So let's tap the Time Slots button to begin the real work of creating a new routine. Routines start with a single 24 hour gap time slot. Tap the Add Time Slot button to create a new time slot in this gap. Daily Routine asks us to select an activity for the new time slot. Our choice determines the icon and color of the time slot, as well as its initial duration. To edit the new time slot's end time, long press the time. We see that a clock appears. While holding your finger down, move in a circle to pick a new time. Clockwise for later, counterclockwise for earlier. Then release to pick the time. We can edit this time again by long pressing again. The time will change in 5 minute increments if we keep our finger inside the ring of dots, and in 1 minute increments if we move outside the dots. Tap Done to accept the change. You've probably noticed that the midnight row is repeated at the top and bottom. We can edit either one with the same effect. We also see that a time slot can span across midnight. When I tap Done, there appears to be two instances of our time slot. They're actually the same, just represented twice to fit our typical notion of a day. For now, I'll change this back to 9am. When I add another time slot, it is added right after the first time slot. If we want a bit of a gap between them, we just edit the time as usual, then tap this link button to unlink the two time slots. Now when I tap Done, we can see that there's a gap. If we accidentally create a gap, we can close it again by changing the time and hitting the trash button. We'll cover these other buttons in a minute. Note that the trash icon will only appear when a time slot or gap can be deleted. Now when I tap done, the gap is gone. I'll just create a few more time slots for the demo. When we change times in daily routine, we can control what happens to nearby times. For example, if I change a time that separates two time slots, we can see these buttons appear on adjacent time bars. These allow us to control what will happen to those times respectively. By default, Daily Routine will try not to change nearby times, hence the lock icons. We can override this if we wish. Tapping the droplet button will cause Daily Routine to change the times proportionally to the time slot's durations. Choosing the domino icon will preserve the duration of the time slot. As we change the selection, we see that the next time bar out is now also presenting options. Changing that causes the next time options to appear, and so on and so on. In this way, we can shift or squish many time slots. Here I am shifting all time slots in the routine. Tapping cancel will discard our changes. When we try to delete a time slot, we're faced with a decision. Here, Daily Routine is asking us what should happen to the time currently occupied by the time slot we're about to delete. The simplest option is the last one, insert a gap. We can see our deleted time slot has simply been replaced by a gap. The expand previous option will make the previous time slot end where the deleted one currently ends, effectively merging the two time slots. The expand next option is similar but merges the deleted time slot with the next time slot instead. The expand both option will split the deleted time slot's time evenly between the previous and next time slots. Just as we can merge two time slots into one, we can split one time slot into two using the split button. By default, the split will be in the middle of the time slot, but we can change this by dragging the slider. While we're filling up our routine, we may realize that we need to create a new activity. To do so, just tap the edit list button inside the activity picker. Here we can edit or delete existing activities, or create new ones. Tap the plus button to create a new activity. We'll give our activity a name and an icon. Then we tap done, and we can pick our new activity. Time slots have their activities titled by default, but sometimes we want to be a little bit more descriptive. In that case, we just type in a name for this individual time slot. 
To change the order of time slots in a routine, tap the sort button at the top right. The time slots shift over a little, and we can drag them up or down. Tap the sort button again to return to time slot editing mode. Now that we've created our own routine, we don't need these example routines anymore, so we can delete them. But now that we've deleted the example routine, the main screen looks empty. We need to tell daily routine that it should schedule our new routine. To do that, tap the dates button. I'm going to schedule our new routine for Monday to Friday by dragging from a Monday to a Friday. Daily routine will ask me whether I meant just the five days I selected or every Monday through Friday. In this case, I want every Monday through Friday. Then I select the routine I want to schedule. When we return to the main screen, we can see that our new routine is there. Even though the routine is scheduled, we can edit it any time. Also note that even if your routine is scheduled, you will only receive alerts if the alert switch is on. This has been an overview of creating and editing routines in Daily Routine 2 for iPhone. See the help section of the app for links to other daily routine tutorial videos.